everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me using a bunch of holiday 2020 kits. And I'm really excited because I've done a review pretty much on every single one of them and we are going to talk about it and just overall have fun. So if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And let's just go ahead and get into the video. So we are just going to put my hair back and we're going to do a full face, like just get ready with me. I'm really excited because I really, these are like one of my favorite videos to film and back like earlier in the year when we were like in lockdown, which we still kind of, I really did a lot of these kinds of videos and I really enjoyed them. So, okay, I need primer. I have like no makeup out in front of me that I actually need to use. So I'm first going to prime with the Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm from Touching Soul. And this is like a moisturizer type primer. I've been really into this lately, just to like wear when I'm like filming videos and stuff. And it just feels really nice on the skin, especially since my skin is kind of going through it right now. I really just wanna appreciate it, you know, kind of when like these are my days off of work and stuff. And you know, I just wanna give my skin a little more like, love <laughs> but you guys it is currently december what 13th yes it's sunday and i'm just working on filming two more videos than this week's videos are done but i am done with finals i'm so excited and i am just like really enjoying like my adult coloring books recently if you want me to do like a dedicated video on like my pens markers like journals like coloring books like that kind of thing i would love to do that <laughs> seriously but we're gonna go in with the makeup revolution conceal and define foundation this is seriously my favorite foundation or at least one of them if you need a really good um pen recommendation hit me up because like i would love to do something like that but if you guys aren't interested like i'm not gonna you know obviously do it i've been seeing this girl this girl that i follow on tiktok talks about like pens and she has like an etsy shop of like stickers and i love watching her she does like pen tests and her handwriting is literally perfection mine is not mine is definitely not perfection but i have been really enjoying her content and if you can see like back there that's literally pens and now that like school is done for the semester because i graduate in may um i will be able to like actually like spend time journaling like this semester was really rough and it took a lot of my time and you know what i'm just glad it's done so we're just buffing this foundation in this foundation is really nice I, they have a hydrating version of this too so if you have more dry skin that might be the way to go for you I also just washed my face, so like my face really looked kind of red and stuff. Whenever I wash my face, it kind of gets a little red. Um, not from like an allergic reaction, but just from like avidly touching it and stuff. <laughs> so that's why it looks weird. But we're gonna go with the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. I love this stuff. This is uh, really nice. I got this in a boxy charm, And we're just gonna kind of load stuff on. I know I put on a lot of concealer. I also um, have dark circles because I don't sleep a lot, so we need it. I finished finals like on Thursday night and I came home Friday from work and I just crashed. I literally took like a three hour nap. School has exhausted me and I'm just ready for the holiday season to just begin. I don't work in retail this holiday season, which I am so thankful for. Like, thank you, Jesus. Like retail during the holiday season is literally a nightmare. And these past, oh gosh, two holidays, 2018 and 2019, I, well, I worked in holiday. I worked in retail and oh my God, that was a very stressful time. So we're gonna go to the coconut setting, everyday vacay coconut setting powder from Ciate. And we're gonna just set under the eyes here. But yeah, that was just like super stressful. And um, 2018, I had two jobs. So I was working part-time at Ulta, and then I was also working part-time at the another jewelry store in the mall. And then 2019, I was working at a different jewelry store. And oh my gosh, the amount of pressure they put on, like retail puts on people is 
unbelievable. So if you do go out shopping and you don't order your stuff online, I'm ordering everything online this year. Well, I already pretty much have, but if you are going in person, you know, of course be safe and be sure to give a lot of respect and patience to all these workers because um, they're really going through it right now. I completely understand what they're going through. <laughs> it's one of the only things that I'm using that is not part of the holiday collection, which is like my base and stuff. I'm also gonna clean my house after this and I am low-key not looking forward to it, <laughs> but I wanted to film a couple of videos before I do that because I feel like I'm gonna look like a literal hot mess after I do that. We're first gonna start out with a Too Faced Enchanted Forest set. My playlist of all my 2020 holiday reviews are linked down below for you. And we're gonna first go into the bronzer called Rudolph. And this is a pretty warm toned bronzer to say the least. It's really, it's pretty, don't get me wrong, but it is a little bit deeper. So I do have to use a lighter hand when using it. So I'm just gonna take an angled brush and apply it to the cheekbones and just, not cheekbones, but like, just kind of buff it in. Wow, that looks really crazy on camera. <laughs> Okay, I put on too much. Oh no, no, this is, I hate when I do that. Okay. I also like to just apply some on the cheeks as well. I need blush, that is my next step. My table is such a mess right now. I love these little things. Ooh, this is good. This is for, I hate this name, here for the hose. This is the, from the Enchanted Beauty Collection from Too Faced. And we're just going to be using that, but like they each came with like a blush highlighter duo. I'm gonna use this one, which is here for those. I always feel so weird because Too Faced does some like, I sometimes feel weird even like saying them. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to pop this on the cheeks just like that. I like a more like warm tone kind of blush like this. I feel like it's more like my comfort zone anyways. And I don't, I just, I feel like it just compliments me more. I don't know, maybe it's like with my hair. I don't know, but I just, I like it better. But I'm definitely down for a cool toned blush, 100%. If one of these has a good blush topper. I feel like one of these did. This is like a shimmery pink. Let's try it. Screw it, what do we gotta lose? Like, this is in the shade Everything Nice, if I didn't already say that. This is from the Raccoon <laughs> palette. And again, I have a dedicated review on that as well, but let's just kind of shine it up a little bit. Oh, that gives a nice low glow, you can see it. That's cute. Love that. That's super cute. Nice, okay. I enjoy this. I, I am enjoying this a ton. Now, this highlighter, Angel Kisses, is so good. And I really like it. And I've, I tried it out in my review, but you guys gotta see it. Like, if you did not see that. Like, this is like the perfect highlighter. I've been wearing it nonstop recently. So pretty. I wanna layer it with something else. Like, I, I, something else just needs to go on top. But I also, like, don't know of another highlighter that we could use. What about Lit Up from the Enchanted Forest palette? Oh, this is so cute. I just have like a shimmer all over my cheeks. It's fine. Let's zoom up, we're gonna do brows and then we're gonna go right into the eyes. I kinda wanna use this brow pomade from Morphe or like brow cream, sorry. I don't know, should I try it? I usually don't use something like this and I'm, I'm whatever, we'll try it. I'm gonna use a Morphe M158 brush. I feel like a brow pomade always makes my brows look a lot darker and I get kind of nervous to use it because I, I like don't want to look crazy or anything. Oh no, I feel like 
my brow looks weird, but let's just go ahead and use the other one. <laughs> definitely not my best brows but there's something I feel like my brows look ridiculous I really need some sort of like lip balm on because my lips are really dry for eyeshadow I'm not really sure what I want to do to be honest I kind of want to use like this palette this is the unbearably glam palette but then again I'm like I don't know do I actually want to use it some other palettes I could use, like I have my Naughty palette, which I'm doing a five looks one palette series on right now. But like, I'm trying to think if I should just save that for, you know, those videos. Hmm. Maybe I'll do like a cranberry eye, but I like, I, I feel like I always do like cranberry eyes. I don't know what to do for eyes, like at all. <laughs> Look how prepared I am. Let's start out with the Foxy Neutrals palette. And let's just go into Oh What Fun right here. We'll, we'll see where it goes. How is that? We'll start out with a pretty basic pink shade. I do like a good pink eye. So maybe we'll do like a pink shadow look, you know, like maybe that'll be our calling. Get a nice light pink in the crease and just kind of buffing it everywhere. <laughs> this is an LMR Cosmetics brush and like I like this look. I, I don't know. I, I have an idea for it But I don't know if it's actually gonna like pull through <laughs> I'm gonna use the raccoon palette again And let's go into the shade hot chocolate Which is like a brown with gold sparkle. Let's go in with like a small brush like this And maybe just like pat right along the lash line over here and then just kind of pat up a little, little bit. Just like that. Okay, so I think for the lower lash line, hmm, let's go into the Enchanted Forest palette. What do you think we could do in the lower lash line? I wish you guys were here because then you could like give me some ideas. I don't know why I'm like drawing a huge blank on what I want to do. Maybe we'll do a little bit of Christmas cookie right here. I'm just taking a Morphe M508 brush and I am just buffing this in the lower lash line. Like that. I don't know, I like it, but I don't want to look too, like, basic. <laughs> okay, um, I really, really, really want to use um, this glitter, Deck the Halls, from the Raccoon palette. Like, I really like it. So I think we're just going to put that on top, just because we can. Oh, yes. This is kind of like almost like a cream. It feels really creamy, has the glitter, but it also, you can tell it has some pigment to it. And I, you can definitely feel like glitter, like gritty glitter in here, but it's not the same as a pressed glitter. And I don't really know how else to explain that, but yeah, I really need a wipe so I can like wipe off all of this like glitter and bronzer and stuff from my hands. Cause sometimes I just go crazy when I'm like applying makeup and I just like do kind of everything. So I think for highlight, there is this really pretty shade called Let It Snow and it, from the Raccoon palette. And I kind of just want to apply that to the brow bone and just give it like a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of pizzazz. This is so pretty. I wish these had mirrors. That's the only thing. Like, I wish I could just like go like this and just apply, but I can't. I do have a ton of fallout if you can't already tell, but I kind of. <laughs> oh, this is so pretty. 
This is so pretty. I, I like it, I really do. Now we need to use some liner. Let's use the KVD um, Vegan Beauty Dagger Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. Just as a little, little something across the lash line, not too much. Because sometimes when you have glitter on your lid, it's a little hard to apply liquid liner. And if you have like experienced that, you know. I'm just doing a very thin line or my interpretation of a thin line. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. This came in one of the holiday sets and I think it kind of fits in because, you know, I mean, like this is like basically a holiday item. <laughs> this mascara, I would say, is a little more difficult to use just because this brush is ginormous. Like, I almost get like worried that I'm gonna smudge my lower lash liner get something on my eyeshadow and ruin it. I kind of apply some white eyeliner. This is from ColourPop. It's the um, white liner in the shade Exit. And I just kind of want to brighten up my waterline a little bit. I feel like I just kind of need it. Oh yeah, that really changed the look for the better. I zoomed out just a little bit so that we could do lips. So I have, of course, I've talked about these like a jillion times. Ooh, this would be really pretty. This is the shade Hot Toddy. And I kind of want to wear it with like this lip gloss, which is the lip injection lip gloss from Too Faced. We can just kind of put it on top anyways. We don't need to be following any rules. <laughs> This lip set though is amazing. And they all smell so good. This goes really pretty with the gold. I really like that. But while this is drying, this is the Lip Injection Lip Gloss. It came with the Enchanted Forest set. This is in the shade Enchanted Pink. I don't really think it really gives that much of a color. It's really more sheer. And as you can kind of see on the wand, the white part of the wand here, like it's not very uh, bold by any means. But it's really cute. I think it gives a little bit of like a plump, a little bit of a more full appearance. But I don't think it is too crazy by any means it is also a really nice size to put in a, a holiday set see all i really wanted was like a little gloss a little shine that's like all that matters we are gonna finish off this look setting my face with the abh dewy set setting mist All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I, my setting spray is still wet, oh my gosh. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Did you enjoy this kind of video? I love doing Get Ready With Me's and I really enjoyed filming this one. If you wanna see a dedicated video, like a dedicated tutorial on any one of these palettes, let me know in the comments below. I will have everything listed, what I used, and in the comments below, is in the just, I will have everything that I used listed in the description box down below. But yes, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We are doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. I have lipstick in my teeth again. But yes, that is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.